back on campus, this time to a hero's welcome. The student leader addressed the crowd with passion and energy that betrayed his 21 days in jail. I believe in the constitution of the country. I believe in the laws of the land and I have full faith in our judiciary. But I also believe in the fact that change is the eternal truth. Things shall change and we stand for change and change will come one day. It was here at Jawaharlal Nehru University that the PhD student was arrested on sedition charges for allegedly holding an event in which anti-Indian slogans were used. There were protests and demonstrations demanding his release. Once again, the students marched across campus, but this time to celebrate his arrival. Uh, the mood here is really pumped up. We are all very happy to see him again. Definitely we are happy. It seems that half of our battle is won. We, the thing what we are telling from the beginning only, that Kanaya Kumar is not involved in anything. But the loud chants and proclamations of innocence have yet to convince the courts. He is out of prison, but bail for their student leader does not guarantee his freedom. It is most likely that even this march is being closely watched by the authorities. Bail was granted to Kanhaya Kumar with conditions, including one which states that he will not take part, neither actively nor passively, in any activity that could be seen as anti-national. The judge's orders also calls on him to make every effort to use his powers to control any so-called anti-national activity on campus. Prosecutions for sedition. The courts have given Kumar a six-month interim bail. Lawyers say it can be cancelled at any stage. The judge seems to have, by this sentence, uh, put a left adequate scope for investigators and prosecutors to attempt to curtail his liberty one more time if there is any incident. It is almost as if the university as a whole was being collectively punished or being collectively put on good behavior. Kumar's arrest led to protests across the country. It opened up a debate on tolerance and freedom of speech. Many say the final outcome of Kumar's case will define the line between expressing your opinion and committing a crime. Divya Gopalan, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.